wall to democracy now, Amiri Baraka, yes. on this day that Malcolm X would have been 86 years old, what do you think we should understand about him? Well, we should understand the impact that Malcolm had on the whole of American society. I think that the one problem I have with Marable's book is Marable never understands that the black liberation movement had the most impact on American society, not the CP, not the DSA, not any of these social democratic groups, but the black liberation movement had. And it wasn't, and it wasn't for the black liberation movement, and people like Malcolm, people like Martin Luther King, people like Rosa Parks, wouldn't be an Ob Obama. You know, that's the, 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 the fruit of that struggle. And to downplay, I mean, calling the Nation of Islam a sect or saying that Malcolm uh, loved history but he wasn't a historian, you know, uh, these are the kind of things that show you that it's a class bias that Marable has. And I'm not opposed to Marable. He was a friend of mine. I was in his office waiting for him the day before he died. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but... Uh, he clearly uh, denigrates the black liberation movement. He tries to make it seem that the Nation of Islam, we know, killed Malcolm X. That's not true. The people who killed Malcolm X are the people who had most opportunity to kill him. And they say there's a killer still lurking in my town, Newark. I think we should ask the police who that is. They're the ones in charge of that. You know, they should they should be the ones put on put on the grill for that. But. Uh, the thing of trying to so-called humanize Malcolm, especially by uh, adding these little uh, unproven non-facts about him. See, because I'm not worried about the charges of, of you know, homosexuality or that Betty, uh, you know, had some kind of affair with this fool Kenyatta. There's no proof of that. There's, there, that's just speculation. Why put it in there? You understand? When my wife and I got 3,000 pages from the FBI, which they claimed they didn't have, I had to go to Allen Ginsberg's lawyer to get that. They charged me 10 cents a piece for the pages. What she said, Amina said this, she said, well, look, the stuff they crossed out, we need to worry about the stuff they let you see, because there's the stuff that let you see that's going to twist what you think. And then I just pushed it aside, and I think the same thing. These... Uh, Marable got those those tidbits from where? FBI, CIA, N New York police, uh, boss, and and people what that hated them in the next tidbits. Excuse me. What do you mean those? Well, all the rumors, the unproven rumors about about Malcolm and Betty and those kind of things. You know, in fact, ironically, I'd written uh, Marable a month before that about his his journal. Uh, where he quoted this man, Thomas 15X, saying that he had burnt down the, the mosque, see? I mean, burnt down uh, Malcolm's house in Long, uh, Long Island. And I wrote, well, how do you know that? Why would you quote this guy who was a, a, a professed enemy of Malcolm? Or to tell me about Captain Joseph, who said on television that Malcolm was Benedict Arnold. You understand? It, it's, uh, there's no consistency in in, in uh, Marable's reporting, because his consciousness is somewhere else, you see. Well, it's, that's the interesting thing I, uh, to me in some of the critiques I've seen uh, you uh, that you've written on the book, that you, you believe the fundamental flaw was that he did not understand uh, the, self the, the struggle for self-determination of, of African Americans absolutely. in the country, and in an effort to humanize him, basically uh, set aside the real political issue absolutely. that both the nation represented. Right on it. That's exactly right. You see, because to, to, to Manning, the left, as he calls it, which is anything from Trotskyites to CP, DSA, is finally more important politically. You know, Marvel was the vice president or vice chairman of the DSA for the several Democratic years. Socialists of America. Right. Mm -hmm. And so he he literally believes that left, that Democratic Socialist that Lenin denounced, you know, when he changed the name from, from uh, you know, Social Democrats to the Communist Party or the Soviet Union, is that Marable thinks that they're more important politically, you see. So that to him, uh, you know, like— uh, saying the thing, you know, Malcolm loved history, but he was no historian. I mean, so are you telling me that if you get an academic title historian and you understand history more than a person who's dedicated to studying it? No, that's just, 